if you're working behind the desk and uh, you're using in-ears for the first time or you're starting to use in-ears, um, I can't emphasize how much it helps to make sure you have everything labeled correctly. They're going to be using that tablet uh, maybe for the first time to adjust what levels uh, they need to adjust. And if the board isn't labeled correctly, they'll be looking for what channel is this in, what channel is this in. And it just saves everybody a lot of time um, if everything is labeled correctly. On the monitor send, so their monitor send should have their name written on it or in the scribble strip, their name should be written. Um, so they know that they're adjusting the right monitor send and also make sure each channel is labeled correctly so they know where to go to um, to change something. I know it can be tempting from one week to the next to just kind of use what was up last week as far as labeling goes, and, but it can be kind of confusing um, because you know then um, Eric becomes um, Elijah and um, Lindsay becomes um, uh, Elena and uh, it can be a little a little weird. Um, I, I usually put, I, I, just because it works for us, I usually have uh, the letter for the monitor send. So uh, bus send one would be A, bus send two would be B. And I keep that letter in there. So it would be A, comma, and then maybe um, Eric. And then the next one would be B, comma, and then Dale. So even if for some reason the name doesn't match properly, they can at least be like, I have... I'm adjusting A, um, or they can say I'm adjusting C, and you can look down and be like, oh, sorry, you're not on C, you're actually on F, um, and which can just be another level to make sure everyone is adjusting the, the right monitor send.